Okay. You may or may not know about this game called Floor Dungeons, but basically, it's like Floor.io, but you have to like move between these like nine different rooms. I put the map right here. Um, the gameplay in the background was recorded by me, but the map was not made by me. I just I discovered I discovered this game, but if you read I if you read the title then. I will show you how how do you beat floor dungeons like if you've ever played it before and you've never beat it you got like in the legendary zone and before you got to like 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 that gray zone with the boss then I'll, I'll show I'll show you how to get there okay so here we are in floor dungeons there are now different like things like there's rocks, there's tanks for some reason. Okay, future me here. I was talking way I was talking way too low. So here's a recap. So there's this mouse there's this mouse mob that does this little boost and drops bubbles. There there is a tank, a diaper.io tank, Aristario tank, whatever. A basic tank. And there's a rock. Well, it, it's a rock, it doesn't move. And there's this red flower that you'll see um, later on in the video if I'm actually loud enough. We'll get onto the strat right now. The strat is to. I don't have those tank things, but earlier you saw. You probably saw those tank things. So, so the strat is you need to get. You need to get two. Okay, here they are. You need to get two of the petals I have right now. Now I have two of these petals, and that's what you need because these are like probably the second most useful petals in the game, since there's only four mobs. You need to keep them, you need to keep the these tank ones, um, at, have at least two of them. Not more, not less, because there's like there's like five petals, and then you want to have one for you want to have one for everything. So then you would have two tanks, would have one rock, one basic, which I had at the beginning, and then one bubble, because the bubble is useful for those big red flowers, which later on in the recording you would see. But let's kill these rocks first. Alright, so I kill these rocks, and you see those red petal people, so on there you you can You can kill them you can kill them um like by pressing shift. And then with the bubble, you can get near them. Alright, so here's a basic. And then I want that. Alright. So this is what your loadout... Yeah. This is what your loadout should look like. Um, two tanks, one rock, one bubble, and then one basic. So then you should always have to set up the bubble for these big red ones. Right, legendary rock. Lost one of my tanks, but there's more over here, so. And another strat is if you have like these big tanks and there's like a bunch of small ones too, you wanna kill the small ones first because since you're so concentrated on like the the big ones, you wanna get rid of the small ones first so you don't get mess messed up. So now these red ones are here. Wanna... All right. So now, if there's big ones here, you wanna keep circling around them, and then once they shoot, you just wanna go in. So shoot right there, and then you wanna attack. These critters are annoying, so you wanna get rid of them first. 
So shoot, there we go. And then go from the attack. Alright, so we did plenty of damage to that big one. And then now you wanna... Alright, okay, so we killed the small one. And then now we wanna kill these these rocks because they're getting in the way and then before we wanna we wanna like circle around these so go around them and then as if you when you're going in the circle oh we, we killed them all right this is why we need tanks so they can do damage while we're not that close all right so as before you want to kill these guys first I know I'm very low, but since I have these tanks, they can hit from far away. So I want to hold shift. All right, now they're done. All right, and then there's another one over here. You want to shift? I want to go at a slow pace. All right. So in this area, there's going to be gray puddles. And gray petals means bigger enemies. So then you want to get rid of this one first. All right, here we go. And then you want to get rid of that one too. So that that biggest one right there that will drop a gray petal. So since it's bigger than the other one, you want to kill the smaller one first. This one is a legendary rarity because it is smaller than this one. Don't get too close to do so much damage because, as you saw, it took a it took a few it took a little bit of damage. See, once again, you don't want to go too close. You want to circle them around with your tank. And then you want to keep circling around these until they die eventually. I'm gonna go up and down once you think it's at low health. Keep going up and down. It will never hit you if you get the pattern. All right, there we go. So you wanna hold shift as there, if there's too many of them. And then you wanna kill this one, which is in the way. All right. All right, so now you wanna kill the smallest one will not be hit here all right so now get the smaller one all right now I got it so now you want to kill the biggest one here so since we already have um, one of these rocks oh shit. okay this, this is one of these big mope ones so all right, well, it died, but um, now you know, now you like, now you know how to get very far and possibly even beat it. But later, I can probably, later, I can probably um, make a video on like how to beat the boss once I get used to this. So remember two tanks, one bubble, one rock, and then one basic remember okay All right